Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to some more Mass Effect. We are going to be continuing right from where we left off last time. We are about to... Where are we going? Yeah, I think we're going to the wards. Um, to course then to talk to this other guy and then we have to find a uh, Krogan that's at CSAC also because we talked to Bardavon last time and that's the direction he pointed us in. And hopefully we actually get some action. Cause the last part was a little... What the? That was unexpected. No, 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 swap. So, uh, this. Those were Saren's men. That's it. Bag him and tie him. Wait, there's more? I think we're good. Man, that caught me off guard, honestly. I was just saying, I hope we got some action. Ooh. Yes, please. Uh, I think we could put this away now. How do I put my gun away? Eh, it doesn't matter. I think this is the guy we're looking for over here. Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know News travels is. fast? You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Don't waste my time, bro. Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a specter. Wait, Didn't what? That, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. He probably did. Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The Heroes Fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> you are a piece of shit. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Must have heard he was going back there. Alright, I really don't want to talk to this guy anymore. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. Oh, there are humans in here too. Wait, we can get a yes. See what I do for you guys. You see, well, honestly, this is as much for me as it is for you. But enjoy, <laughs> I guess. Oh, we can. What does sit forward do? Dude, the Asari are fine though. Alright, we can't waste too much time though. We we gotta go. Why didn't Captain Anderson tell us he used to be a Spectre? Maybe it's not true. Harkin's an ass. But he's just messing with our heads. You're probably right. Still, I'd like to hear what the captain has to say about all this. It's probably true. 
Um, so we want to go to CSAC, right? Kill two birds in one stone. Uh, what the hell is this? Oh. Oh, we, we don't need to be here. Uh, fast travel point? Um, where am I going? Oh, this way. What? I'm really confused. Um... Oh, what's in here? What you're saying, but these allegations are very serious. I can't just please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. Oh, thank you. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Uh, let's see. Alcar? Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Oh, that's cool. Um... Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups, though we are always welcoming to outsiders. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Oh, okay. Tell me about the history oh, and origins of the wrong, Elcor. Wrong the Elcor thing. We're just beginning can, can, to explore how, how do we skip? Proudly. Within one lifetime, we established a regular route to the Citadel. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Din. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that, and if you do, I am very sorry for you. Um, <laughs> uh, I should go. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. 
Good day to you, human. Can I talk to this Hello one? Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? Hey, this didn't, is but... This so wrong, and it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Who's this Asari consort? Curious, you have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Sha'ira, the consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Um... I guess we can help this guy out. From what he said, uh, she doesn't seem too far away, and then maybe we can come back and talk to Anderson. Actually, Anderson's right here, so let's get out of the way really quick. You got some explaining to do, sir. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Mm. What I do? You know what? I'm gonna go with this answer just because I'm trying to be more of a renegade, so... Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Oh, so now I can... I guess I could go so with this, innocence huh? doesn't end wars, it causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. It's weird that I, I got both of those options. I'll be here if you need me. Um, anywho. I thought he would have explained the whole being a specter thing, but I guess not. Alright, so dude said something about a bridge. I guess this is it, right? And her office is being easy to spot. So we haven't even got enough far in the game yet and I'm already like detouring to go do side quests. <laughs> Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to make this a habit. As I said, I kind of want to blaze through this as like, quickly as possible. I've had my office rearranged five times now. Five times? Why? What do they want? How should I know? It's not like keepers offer an explanation for what they're doing. Oh. Everyone just lets them go on doing whatever. Yeah, that's weird. I guess this is her? No, well, no, this isn't her, but I guess this is her office. Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Mm. 
What is the consort? What does she do? Mm. What do you think she does? to explain. She's many things to many people, and something different for each. Some seek her for advice, some for entertainment, others still for pleasure. Most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman. A woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Hmm. What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. So this is a brothel, is what you're saying. <laughs> uh, huh. What exactly do you attend to? You know, Shepard, don't play dumb. Each has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. Oh. Hmm. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Mm, mm, three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? Mm, can I... What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not... S it's our job to ensure that they leave contented. Alright, so I guess I gotta wait. I then. think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. Okay. I wish to speak with him. What are you touching? You guys don't have ears. Well, yes, course, I mean, you do, Mrs. but... Ooh. Hello. Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Sure. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Where? Where are the stairs? Oh. No, that's the exit. Very confused. Oh, there are humans here as well. Huh. You don't really see any of the other species, like, doing this kind of work. Like, Turians or Salarians or, um... Follis, which is interesting. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. I don't like people spying on me. I apologize, Commander. I make it my business to know when important people arrive on the station. Many of them become clients. But that is not why I asked you here. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. Alright, well, uh, Sam then. Um, I'll see. I don't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Commander. That is all I can ask. Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Mm. Okay. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many We can see. take a quick detour, right, guys? Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, we can take a quick detour. 
go talk to this guy really quick. And there, there's like a fast travel point right out here, so we could go to course then and wards. Uh, course then. Oh, we also have to go to the um, med clinic. I think that that's where Garrus is, right? So this. Probably mm, wrong spot. This has to be him. Yeah. Commander. <laughs> what do you want? I'm here on Shayira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good. Her lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me, Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. Bro, you sound like an incel. Like, seriously? Some general. What kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. All I wanted was to retire and be with her. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. I don't have enough points either way, I guess. Enjoy your drink, General. Yeah, off you I don't go. feel right just leaving like this. <laughs> don't waste your time, kid. Run away now while you still can. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No. Those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired lonely worn out soldier you're a damn general quit your whining ha you got balls kid there are only five people in this damn galaxy who talk to me like that so you think it's that easy just straighten up and act like a general i don't think it could hurt huh maybe you're right commander Shaira's worth the effort, even if she won't have me back. Good. Now get up and get moving, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Depends. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there. Oh. Who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Alright, I know where to find him. Where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. That's because you don't understand women. All right, how do I leave? Where's the exit? Let's 
So what I want to do is wrap up this side quest before I kind of start doing main um, mission stuff. Um, then we can come back down and all that, get yeah, all that other stuff wrapped up. All right. So the embassy is a Citadel Tower, CSAC Academy. Which direction is the embassy again? Financial district. I think it's this way. Could be wrong. Well, that says CSAC Academy. Right, the embassy is this way, but it's up here. Eventually, I'm gonna learn my way around, I hope. And just not have to like, worry about designing and stuff. Honestly, I thought I would have a harder time getting around but it doesn't really seem too bad so far yo bro took Pray care of it greeting, human. this is really not a good time I know who revealed your secret it was a Turian named Septimus unbelieving I know this Septimus and he could not learn my secrets the only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Uh. Just make sure you leave Shaira out of it from now on. Agreed, most assuredly. It is clear that the consort was blameless. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. Yeah, I don't have so to be I, that much of a well, prick about it. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Yeah, I got 30 bucks. So, I don't think I have to go back and talk to that guy and be like, oh, I did the thing you asked. Pretty sure it's all over now, right? Right. Right, so where is the there it is? So we wanna go back to the wards and course then. Wait no shoot. I'm supposed to talk to Shayera. I messed up. Er, right, I'm gonna cut this out. Yeah, we're back. Um, so I kind of went the wrong way at first, but we are gonna go talk to Shayara now. Man, Shepard gets winded really quickly. <laughs> For a soldier, your stamina sucks, bro. Hello. It was a long time ago. There they were. What drew you back to the 
All right, I can't stop there and like listen to these women. <laughs> Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Elcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Okay. Um, payment? I can't spend gratitude. I would not dream of letting you go without payment. I do not make a habit of incurring debts. These credits will cover your expenses. That's it? I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. Wait, seriously? I, I... I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding, a wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. You never hide your strength either. It serves you well, terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. That's it. Uh, thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. All right, boys, here we go. Here, Commander, in light of your efforts Wait. with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Okay. So, what's that? They will give you strength. Oh, we were in that thing. The weird pod thing. Okay, that, that was interesting. And not as exciting listed as I thought it would be. But that's good, I guess. I mean, YouTube's not gonna get upset. I hope. Probably. <laughs> uh, Alright, so let's go talk to Garrus now because we've been putting that off for a while. Uh, we want to go to the wards. Med clinic. So, the structure of the, the Citadel itself is really interesting. Um, this way maybe? Oh, that, that, I can't go through that door. Uh, this one. I didn't tell anyone, what I the? swear! That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. I'm about to shoot you. Ah! Oh, well, Garrus did it before I did. Aim sucks. All clear. All right. What what is this thing? Can I can I? Okay. It doesn't really seem like I can interact with it. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Nice shot. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. 
Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? Oh, Dr. No, Michelle's I'm cute. Okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Um, yeah, who are those people? Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. Ooh. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Quarian? What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Um... Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Oh. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. Evidence, she probably. Must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. All right. Um. Yeah, we need to find her. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Yeah, sure. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him. I out. know. We yeah, heard about him. him. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the academy before he leaves. Move out. Oh. So... Our extra crewmates are Liara and uh, Rex and... Uh, God, why am I forgetting Tali, right? So I'm going to bring Ashley and... Garrus. Oh, Square is that bad people. I wasn't paying attention. Um, yeah, Caden's pretty boring and uninteresting. I don't really care about him so far. Well, I haven't got a chance to speak to him, but I know the human characters in this game aren't too interesting. Well, the male ones anyway. Which is, you know, fine by me. Don't really care about getting to know them anyway. Um, council chambers. Alright. So, CSAC is this way, right? Down? Or is it... I think it might be late. God, Shepard, why, why are you getting winded, bro? Like, all right. So it's not in here. This is like the embassy stuff. So it's got to be down that way and around then. It's really weird. Okay, yeah, it's right here. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Interesting. So, I don't know if you guys like care about this little elevator ride 
exposition things that kind of like add the uh, add to the world, or if you guys just would rather have me skip them, where am I going? Uh, not this way. Oh, there he is. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. <laughs> Rex has no you? chill. I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Guy was already leaving. I'm going after Fist. I don't want you getting in my way. Huh. Now I recognize you. Commander Shepard from the Alliance. Heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Oh, that's a thing on Earth, too. I think we're gonna get along just fine, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Mm. So... The two aliens are... I'm gonna bring Rex and I'll bring Garrus. Cause, like. Eh. Oh, right. We need to we need to head towards Korra's then. Anyway, so let's fast travel. Cause that'll be quicker. And it is ridiculous how like winded Shepard gets. Considering he's supposed to be like this N7 badass um special forces dude. of inaccurate I can't really tell honestly I gotta play this a bit more Oh, 
Come on, shields. Hurry up. Regenerate. There we go. It takes a while in this game. I wonder how much damage this will do. Too slow. Gonna swap back. Yeah, that's Wait, a lot better. Don't kill me, I surrender. Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait, I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. I was gonna do that. Do it. The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that Quarian. I don't like the fact that Rex stole my kill. Uh, wait. Now we can go. Oh, it's timed. Okay. Um, I wasn't aware of that. I can't let Tali die. We got like, we got time. Did, did that not work? Oh. What? Where am I going? This way, seems like. Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? 
My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. Alright, let's go. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? You wanted proof Saren's a traitor. This is it. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... I didn't mean to do that. My I was going to tell him to shut up, but... We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. What's the conduit? Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. Oh boy. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. They probably won't believe it, but yeah, we this need to tell them to still. Handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the council right away. We're the Quarian. My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. Yeah, she could be useful. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Alright. Uh, I guess I gotta bring Tali and... I guess I should bring Garrus, maybe? Um, I'll bring Ashley. Why not? How do I get to the um, tower again, though? Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of what your do you time? Want? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait. The 212? 
Your wife was serviceman Narali Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Um... Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. All right. Expensive bar? Oh, I think it might be upper level. Yeah, I, I think we're too low down. If it's close, but we might as well hopefully knock it out real quick. And get that over with. My goodness, your Commander Shepard. Your activities yep. made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? You Stop can cut the red corpses. tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nerali Bacha. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Serviceman Nerali Bacha died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bacha no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nerali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we're gonna go back and talk to this dude pretty quickly, and then head into the Citadel Tower. Why am I keep why do I keep getting turned around? Where where am I going? Is it it's Yeah, this is the right way. Is there someone outside? Oh, it's him. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? They're running medical studies on Norali. That's why they won't release the body. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. I'm not going to go against the military, Mr. Bhatia. I can't help you. Nirali always said that the military sticks together. Why should this be any different? I knew my wife might one day give her life for the military. I did not think you would take her body as well. I know those tests are important, Commander. But we could have found another way. It had to be done, Chief. You know that. We could have found another way. So I wonder if my relationship with certain characters is going to be affected by the choices I make. 
or is that just a thing that they added in newer newer um titles? Uh, where is the elevator for the council? Whatever. Finding my way around this place is going to be a pain in the butt. Um, Citadel Tower this way. Okay. And Shepard gets winded so easily. Still going the right way, right? Yeah. So, fun fact for you guys, the reason why all these aliens and stuff can understand each other is because of universal translators, just like in Star Trek. I mean, if, if you didn't know. Am I going the right way? I told you before, you're not allowed in here. This one believes it has the right to I so turned around right now. Alright, hold on. up to something come on Udin is presenting the Quarians evidence to the council Eden Prime was a major victory the beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit and one step closer to the return of the Reapers you wanted proof there it is this evidence is irrefutable ambassador Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something.
I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That right, is guy's not idiots. good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed him. I've earned this. Good point. Commander Shepard, step forward. I'm going to shut up for this moment. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I've been ready for this since Eden Prime. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. All right, I'll find him. Let's go. This meeting of the council oh, is a I, I should have asked for leads. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a we crew, supplies. You shit. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I really don't like that guy. <laughs> like, I, I don't know if it's just his voice or whatever. He didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Commander. All right, guys, we're going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And when we come back, we'll continue on with some more Mass Effect later, guys.